This is the Palin Update on Mama Grizzly Radio. I'm Kevin Shola in the Narrowgate Security Agency Studios. ESPN, what the heck happened to you? Picking and choosing who will be tolerated and who you're going to destroy. The left has gone after right-hander Kurt Schilling yet again. ESPN fires the great former pitcher after Schilling, as Bristol Palin put it, told the truth. The Liberal Sports Network parted ways with the three-time World Series champ after he made some comments regarding bathrooms and who should be in which ones. Schilling didn't apologize and he didn't back down. Instead, he stood up for the truth and common sense. Kurt Schilling joins us in just a moment. Donald Trump rolls to victory in New York. Sarah Palin speaks out about Earth Day and what the day should really be about. And just ahead, a brand new installment of Liberty and Legacy with Tamara Colbert in Texas. Sarah Steelman is off this week. Stay tuned for a new edition of Steel Resolve from Missouri with Sarah Steelman in May. Welcome to the Palin Update on Mama Grizzly Radio. The Palin Update is sponsored by Narrowgate Security Agency. Learn more at narrowgate.com. This past week, Kurt Schilling was hammered after he responded to a Facebook photo of a painted up large man in a crazy street hooker-esque outfit and breasts exposed through his shirt the photo was captioned let him in to the restroom with your daughter or else you're a narrow-minded judgmental unloving racist bigot who needs to die Schilling spoke the truth about it and he was fired from espn for his troubles the palin spoke out in support of Schilling. of course the left piled on today we talked to kurt Schilling right here and we are always happy to have Kurt Schilling on Mama Grizzly Radio, the Palin Update, one of the great pitchers of our time, World Series champion with the Boston Red Sox and with the Arizona Diamondbacks, and of course, making a name for himself with the Philadelphia Phillies, not to mention the Orioles and Astros and everything else he has done through his tremendous career. Kurt Schilling, welcome back. Good to talk to you again, sir. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So, uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, it's great when uh, you speak your mind because... I- I don't know. You see so many people in, in in the world of sports, but also in entertainment and other fields that it just seems they're very robotic. It seems company line all the way, and that's usually a liberal thought. And if you say anything, well, either you're chastised for it or, you know, you have that uh, canned apology ready to go the next day. Uh, you made some comments recently uh, regarding this whole uh, bathroom situation in North Carolina, the bathroom bill, uh, which would have men being able to go and uh, use the girls' room, and you spoke out about it, and you took a lot of flack, and ESPN making the decision to part ways with you after that comment. I want to ask you first, um, you know, so many people, after they say something, then they come out and either whether they write it or someone else does, they have an apology the next day. I think people are really looking up to Kurt Schilling right now because you don't back down, even when there was a job at stake. Well, it, it, listen. I, I let's let's be very clear. I, I have been blessed. I, my life has been. If I could sit down at eighteen and write out my perfect life, I lived ten times that. Um, I was in a position working with some amazing people at ESPN, um, where you know I think at some point I had to make a decision if I was going to remain who I am or if I was going to change myself because my employer didn't like my political outlook. And uh, you know, I'm I'm not working there anymore, so I guess we can figure out which one I chose. Um, <laughs> but I, I, uh, I'm tired. Uh, and I think a lot of people are of, of what's happening to this country, what's happening in this country and, and why. And, and this is one of the reasons why, one of the reasons why is because when you have an opinion that isn't in the vocal minorities interest, they want you jailed, fired, expelled, whatever, uh, you know, so I, I honestly, my comment was nothing more than I think the, uh, you know, if you're, if you're built to stand up when you pee, you use a, a men's room. And if not, you use the women's room. That was my comment. Um, and that was taken from the, 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 the post to turned into that I'm a horrific person and transphobic and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it, it became a runaway train. And um, I, I, I don't think I've ever had a problem apologizing if I, if I feel I did something wrong or slighted somebody. 
uh, but I didn't. Just like when I posted the the meme about uh, extremists and Nazis, um, that, that there was nothing racist about that post. It's true. Extremists are uh, 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 Islamic extremists are murdering people around the world and in this country for their failure to a convert to to uh, Islam uh, or b adhere to the Sharia law that they believe everybody should do that for. Um, that there's that I mean that that that's almost. You know, tit for tat, what the Nazi Party did in the brown shirts started in 1933. So when ESPN came out and disavowed themselves of that tweet, they basically said, "We don't agree with his racist comment." Um, and and they removed, and everybody after that removed the one word, the only word that mattered in that meme, which was extremist. If you remove the word extremist from that tweet, it's, it's incredibly racist. But. You can't. It's the only word that truly mattered. And so it's gotten to a point now where, you know what, you, you, uh, if you're worried about people's opinion of you that you don't know, yeah, you've got to be careful. I'm not. I don't, and I never have. And that's not to say I'm insensitive or uncaring in a feeling. It's not even close to being true. My, my, one of my younger sons is, is very involved in the LGBT community and, uh, you know, a member of the club in high school and started I, his friends, uh, transgender, whatever, uh, all of them have been in and out of my house, and not one of them would ever tell you that I've ever treated them anything other than great kids, because they are. Um, and when you get to a point, I think, when, when people are calling you things that, that you know, we, this, is, this is how extreme I would call that. If someone came up to you and said, wow, I can't believe you're a child molester, how do you respond to that? You're right. Right? You're right. I mean, you, you don't, you can't. It's, it's so far from true, you can't really, That's where I'm at. I, I don't have a racist bone in my body. I don't have a racist thought. I don't have a, 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 I'm not transphobic or homo, any of that stuff. None of it. I never have been. But something has happened, or multiple events have happened that have created something that people that want to believe those things believe them. And you know what? what and there, you can't really, I'm not going to run around saying, look, I have lots of black friends or I have lots of friends that are gay. And that, that's not, I don't need to defend myself to spineless people who can't, to to uh, you know what I'll tell you what I I don't need to defend myself to against intolerant bigots who preach tolerance yeah because that's exactly what's happened here this was nothing more than an opinion and quite honestly it was an opinion about men's rooms yeah but the intolerant bigotry of the left is all about tolerance until you voice an opinion they disagree with and then you're a racist yeah the bullies are calling. Those they are bullying the bullies, and this has been going yeah, on thing, for though. years. Yeah, they're not bullies; they're cowards. They're cow. All of them are cowards. They're not bullies. They're, they they think they are because they yell really loud. But you stand up to them, and you see what happens. They well, shrink like like violets. Well, let's it's, it's, let's you know d- and, and delve in. You know, I, Kurt, I'm to, sick of it. Let's delve into to what you actually wrote, and uh, you said right. a, a man is a man no matter what they call themselves. I don't care what they are, who they sleep with. The men's room was designed for the penis. First time we've said that word on the Palin update. Women's not so much. <laughs> now you need laws telling us differently? Pathetic. Now, first of all, after the whole Nazi and, and extremist comparison, you must have known as soon as you put this down what ESPN's reaction was going to be, Let right? Me be very- clear about something and, and I don't care what anybody says that, that doesn't believe me. If you if you look at the what the post, it was a I responded to somebody that made that post. I didn't make that post. I responded to it. And it was on my Facebook page where only my quote unquote friends could see it. It wasn't public. Right, right. Okay? So that that first of all, I wasn't out there sp- espousing an opinion I have on this stuff. I was talking to people that I usually communicate with through yeah. Facebook. So whatever. That doesn't, you know, advocate me from responsibility. I, I you know, I, I certainly, twi- but I was, I was dumbfounded when I got a phone. Uh, cause, well, I saw it blow up on Twitter. I'm like, oh my God. And then when you follow the, the, the quote unquote logic, which it's anything but of, of how people got to this point, you know, this this was me being fired for being a conservative American was only a matter of time from ESPN because they clearly went out of their way to to uh, to make good on the racist that that comment and, and on a daily basis there. I think you know, I, nice guy, 
but Stephen A. Smith says more racist comments in a day than I've said in my life. And, and the guys and the people that work there, I worked with some of the greatest human beings I've ever been around, and I'll miss that, and I'm sad for that piece. But there were other people there that, that were, you know, accused murderers, uh, you know, people that had beaten their wives, people drunk drive, people who advocated finding some your, a friend of yours to get arrested for you when you break the law. I mean, it goes on and on and on. And, and so, you know, from that perspective, uh, you know, this is not over as far as I'm concerned with, with, with them. Um, but you know what? Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of being made to feel like I did something wrong because I have an opinion that's not like, you know, 2% of the countries. You know, and then I'm, I'm so sick of watching people being made out to be icons and heroes that are hypocritical, you know, Jerks, or I, jerks is a very kind word for it, but, uh, you know, I, I got to ask you, Bruce Springsteen, he's some kind of icon now in the yeah. transgender community, yeah. right? Right. Because he, he boycotted a, a concert in North Carolina, Brian Adams. So I'm assuming they'll never perform in Italy again, because same-sex marriage in Italy is against the law. And they certainly won't be performing anywhere in the Middle East, right? Well, look, we've because, seen this hypocrisy, Kurt, you know this, saying, I mean, they're, this is, right, they're anti, they're pro, anti-Israel, anti-American, they're an, but then they're they go... Anti, they're anti they're almost anti everything that was written and embedded in our constitution. Yes. Which you know what? At the end, that's, okay, that's fine. They're allowed to have those opinions, but stop making it out to be something more than it is. It's not. They didn't stand up for crap. They're cowards who who made a point to get to win political points for no. They're not. What are they, what, what are they sacrificing? What are they doing that's actually helping that cause? No, they're getting their names in the paper and they're doing their names are easy, already Bruce Springsteen is world way. famous, right? But blowing it up, you know, extra right. like you no, said. I get it, yeah, but that's where we're at. Well, you know, um, we look at this whole situation uh, where where you are and, and people who have gone through ESPN and other places, and uh, like you said, there's hypocrisy. Uh, there's people who say one thing and then do another. But what gets me is uh, it's well. Sarah Palin, uh, you know when you say you omit a word, it changes the whole context right. of everything that happened right. to you. you. You can appreciate what she's gone through because that has happened to her so many times. And uh, you, you kind of see who uh, a lot of people run and hide when people get into these uh, situations, even if they agree with them because they're worried on their own hide or whatever you, you mentioned right. about being your private Facebook page. A lot of teachers don't have Facebook pages because of that. I know friends in law enforcement who have told me, oh man, I can't wait till I retire so I can right. speak a little more because they're worried, you know, in this type right. of right. society. But I got to right. say, Sarah Palin and Bristol Palin, uh, Sarah wrote, ESPN continues to screw up after this right. went down. She posted a cartoon uh, which showed a little girl uh, who it doesn't want to go into the girl's room because there's a 40-year-old man in there and, it, and, they, right. and they call her a bigot. And in the meantime, right. they have this entitled sniveling college kid that uh, right. is called the victim. So you gotta uh-huh. love that. You know where we are right now. I, I, this this is mind boggling to me. The, the, the women for for years and decades have been fighting for an equal stance. Now Sarah Palin comes along, who is a proud, incredibly strong woman, loves her country, um, all of the things you'd wish for in a quote unquote strong woman. And this country looks to people like Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I mean, this is, it's, it's embarrassing it's, it if it's is. not disgusting. It is. And, and here's the, here, you know, I, I'm so tired of the intolerant, hypocritical, bigoted left calling everybody else racist and bigots. There was no, there were no rules when it came to, came to Sarah Palin and her family. The things that were said about her and her husband and her daughter, oh my, I mean, if anybody said something like that about Chelsea Clinton... Oh, you know, I, who now apparently is some sort of, you know, stand up for Second Amendment and, and, and with scale. I mean, I, it's just mind boggling. Like I said, when our country can portray Hillary Clinton as a leader, I'm going to throw up. It makes me sick to my stomach. Well, Sarah Palin said ESPN continues to screw up. Bristol Palin simply wrote, Kurt Schilling got fired for telling the truth. And I said, yeah. I said, you know, my first reaction was, you know, the, the, the Palin women are really becoming the Byung Young Kim and Tim Wakefield of, uh, of uh, Schilling here because every time you start a good game, they come and close it for you. Well, they, you know what? And, and <laughs> the, the embarrassing and pathetic thing is that they, they would have to. That's the, mm. that's the part. There's so much. Listen. Yeah. I don't, uh, you know, you know what I realized in the last 72 to 96 hours is one of the reasons I think 
the people in the transgender community that are, are going to try and paint this as transphobic, I think one of the big reasons is because nobody makes it out to be as big of a deal as they want it to be. I don't care. I swear to, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what, what you wear. I don't care what sex you are. I don't care who you sleep with. As long as it's not my wife, I'm good. <laughs> I don't care about that stuff. Right, right. But and I think that's where most Americans are, Kurt. I think that's where almost all Americans are. But you have, you know, you have half of them that are in the trans. I understand. I can't imagine what it's like to be in the transgender community or, or to have that, <clears throat> excuse me, confusion growing up or whatever it is. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I can't, I can't imagine. Also, I don't have to deal with it. If my son came home tomorrow and said, Dad, <clears throat> I want to be a woman, I would be, A, disappointed because I'm a man and I'm a father and I would want my sons to experience fatherhood and getting married and having kids and all those things. But B, okay. Sun comes up tomorrow, let's go. I, I'm not going to think any less of him. Or, in fact, I'm probably going to think more of him because I'm proud of people that stand up for what they believe in. And I think that that is also the opinion of most Americans. It's it, Any American, it, true, uh, anybody grow, that grew up in this country, anybody in, from my generation back, absolutely. But, you know, we're, we're in a place now where, I mean, my God, how many more times do I need to see someone on, on YouTube say, asked, hey, what do you support about Bernie Sanders? And the, and the 22-year-old college kid goes, I don't know, he stands for me. Yeah. Like, they have no idea. No, not and, at all. And at, I want to see somebody somewhere in the world answer a, what has Hillary Clinton ever done with something other than a shoulder shrug? You know, this whole PC situation and this craziness we've seen of late, I mean, you know, you had guys, what, just a a few decades back, you know, storming the beach at Normandy, and now we're worried about which bathroom can uh, we tinkle in in our skinny jeans. Uh, Do you think that that is a huge reason why Donald Trump is doing so well, because it's this anti-PC deal? You know what it is? I'll tell you what I think it is. Every single time the political establishment, I don't care what side, the left and the right and the middle, whatever, Every single time the political establishment says Donald Trump's an idiot, 10 to 50 more people go pull a lever for Donald Trump. People are so sick of the bullshit, the corruption, the, the, the apathy. The, these people, the, the, the Dianne Feinsteins and Barbara Boxers and Nancy Pelosi and Harry, these people believe that we are that stupid and that ignorant to what they, they say and do. And they believe the Mitch McConnells of the world, they believe that they can make us think we need to have them to function. Right. When I can't think of anything that's farther from the truth. Oh, yeah. We have to have somebody in the White House that is not a, uh, a foundational uh, institutional guy or girl. I don't care. I don't care. And, and nobody, and the problem is of the four candidates, the only one is Donald Trump. Now, listen, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, right now, I, I want to hear something more than I'm going to make America great again. I want to hear what's going to happen. What, what's the plan? I don't want to I, – I, I get it. I know you're going to make our military big and strong. How? Are, 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 are you going to put the homeless vets in homes? Are you going to fix the VA? Are you going to get these homeless kids off the street? I mean, are you going to do all the things? I think he he wants to. I think he believes he's going to. But I think people need to start seeing a leader instead of a name caller. And I think people need to start seeing substance on a platform instead of this is what we're going to be awesome. Well, I get it. Okay, we're going to be awesome, but how? Well, certainly a huge week coming up with uh, more primaries, uh, the Eastern Seaboard, and uh, and a lot of others voting. And uh, you know, not, we haven't had these states matter in primaries from a presidential uh, standpoint in many, many years. So, very interesting times, Kurt. Before we let you go, obviously, we know about the uh, basement warriors with the Cheeto stained uh, hands who go after you <laughs> on Twitter all the time. But you also had a little bit. Uh, you went at it with Brandon McCarthy uh, this past week, a right. little bit well, of a debate, right. which we. You know, seemed like you were, you know, had a okay debate going on for a little bit. But, you know, here another, this is a guy, uh, people who don't know Brandon, a, a major league pitcher uh, for a good time with the Yankees. And, uh, and uh, you know, he had some things to say to you, uh, again, right. thinking that this was an anti-whoever type post that you made. Right, right. Well, uh, Brandon and I did, we got into a, a conversation. And here's the problem. Uh, halfway through it, I, I, I said to him, I, like, are you giving up on the on the debate? Blah, blah, blah. Maybe that's why you only had nine complete games. Clearly making a, 
a joke of, you know, something that I only us only us two could actually understand. Right. And he got pissed thinking I was serious. Wow. But but, but that's again, I I I I don't care what your opinion is. I care that you have one and you stand up for it. If you don't agree with mine, that's fine. I right. love talking. I love talking about people and to people and with people that uh, I'm with they you, know man. more than me or uh, that yeah, do know absolutely. more than me or that disagree with my opinion because I think you get educated and smarter no matter what but we when have, you have those conversations. We have been divided no by have. these types of issues because yep. of of the president, because of the people you mentioned, the, the Pelosi's and Reeds of the oh, world. Yeah. I mean, and we, we, it is made we where if you're not on... through if, seven and a half years of the most right. divisive administration in my lifetime and I think in this country's history. And, and if you don't it, agree with certain things domestic. like these types of issues, you are not a allowed to have that other opinion and that goes back to the great point you made earlier that no 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 these are the people who are the ones who are being whatever you want to call it uh, phobic right. of whatever way racist yep. whatever because if you are a christian conservative if you believe in things like this like you know the crazy notion that little girls shouldn't go to the bathroom with men uh you know you're out you're out on the street well we are at a time and a place so yeah and I, I we're at a time and a place where the left is everything they're calling the right mm-hmm Oh yeah, they're, they're intolerant. They're bigoted. <laughs> they're, they're as racist as anybody on the planet. You're the you're the revolution now. You're 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 the wild bunch <laughs> if you're in the conservative group. It, it's yeah. it, it's a, we talked to a, a great young lady from DePaul University where uh, some of the kids there got scared of chalk messages on yeah. campus that were pro Donald Trump, and um, you know she she really uh, enjoyed that. She's like, oh yeah, yeah. she's well, like we, we love that being in the being in the perceived minority. Yep. Well, you know, we're seeing now across college campuses. You know, the the uh, you heard about. I'm sure the Bucknell class president. Yep. Yep. Re- he's removed. Yep. Removed after he because he's bringing conservative speakers to talk to kids, and he took a, a part time job at Breitbart. <laughs> I mean, well, of course they're removed. I mean, look, we're just a mean, couple years out where that. the flag, the American that. flag, offends some folks in California. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, it's 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 puke worthy. It really is. And and. You know, I I I, I know I, I'm fielding offers now, but I think I'm going to end up being able to do something that involves multiple different media formats um, and, and like radio, television, or something that, that I'll be allowed to. T- I want to talk baseball. I want obviously that's my passion, but there's so much other. I want to talk about stuff that moves the needle because the needle needs to be moved. Well, you know, the goal, Kurt, is to beat us into submission. And and right. when you do speak out, that's why people are so appreciative because you have that platform. Sarah Palin has that platform. Yep. And, you know, a lot of everyday citizens, they're worried about their job. They're worried about their community well, standing. They're and, worried about physical harm. Right. Well, and they should be. Look at Look at what's happening. But I would tell you this. The beautiful thing is, and I guarantee you Sarah sleeps as good at night as I do because she knows who she is. She knows exactly what she – she's not a racist. She's not homophobic. Blah, blah. She's an American. She believes in American values and principles. Doesn't mean she's not flexible and can't listen to other viewpoints, but she has beliefs. Listen, opinions are opinions. They're malleable. They're things that we throw at each other, we discuss and debate. Uh, beliefs are foundational things. That's what builds us, and that's what makes us who we are. So, you know, I don't know. Well, Kurt, it's always a pleasure to talk to you, and you know, staying with us a little longer today, uh, we appreciate that. And you yep. know, we know, you know, we got your back, and we. Uh, no, I appreciate it, it's, it, man. it's it, you know, tell, tell it's her important. I said, Todd's recovering well. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Everybody, uh, we will. And like I said, it's laughable in a way, but in another way, we want to be there for you. Before we do yeah, let well, you run, it's, it's horrifying at the same time. Before we do let you run, real quick, and and to mention baseball, great start to the season so far. Here, yeah. we're only in April, but uh, you know, we know about the usual, and I'll talk to you about pitching, of course. We know right. about the usual suspects, the Clayton Kershaws of the world. Right. But right now, I mean, look at Noah Syndergaard. Look at uh, Chris Sale. Uh, yeah. is, is, There's some amazing young power pitching that's mature. And, and, and I think you might have an argument for Noah Syndergaard if everybody got thrown into a pool being the, the first pick for everybody. But I got to tell you, what Jake Arrieta is doing in Chicago, I don't think has ever been seen. To the degree he's doing, I don't think anybody has ever. He's had, uh, I think, a twenty to twenty-four start run where he's twenty and one with an ERA under one, two no hitter. I mean, it's just it's it's unbelievable. And and for the young pitchers that are watching it, you, you got to just start to understand what fastball command means to pitching, and that he's it's just breathtaking to watch. It's so nice again to see the ERAs back in those uh, areas that you know I used to recognize. Right. 
Right, yes. Yes, absolutely. All right, Kurt Schilling, we appreciate it so much. And Thank you. You be Take well, care. sir. Bye-bye. All right, God bless. For more on Kurt Schilling, visit 38pitches.wordpress.com. Donald Trump blows away the competition in New York, winning his home state by a wide margin. Governor Palin congratulated Mr. Trump on social media. More huge primaries coming up this week. Sarah Palin took to social media to talk Earth Day this past week. Palin wrote, in honor of Earth Day, let's take note of politicized scientific issues that are only used to divide the nation down partisan lines. For example, the UN's global warming climate change hockey stick graph is thoroughly debunked, but it just won't go away when needed to score some liberal talking point. Activists who ignore science used a bag of tricks to make historical temperatures appear to fit their narrative, creating an off-published graph resembling the hockey stick. This hockey mom, with great respect for science and for truth, isn't buying it. Get the facts, America. The movie Climate Hustle is in theaters May 2nd for a one-night national theater event. Be there and become informed. Palin also wrote this past week, Heads up, America, on Earth Day, instead of progressing toward true conservationism and responsibility using the Earth's natural resources to secure our nation, Barack Obama is throwing America's opportunities to the back of the bus. Unbeknownst to most of his constituency, Obama will be signing us on to the nonsensical and dangerous United Nations Paris Agreement on Climate Change. It's great news for China, India, and everyone with low to non-existent environmental standards eagerly producing the things we used to produce. It's sucky news for Americans trying to energize our homes, businesses, and communities. To learn more, see the movie Climate Hustle in theaters nationwide May 2nd for a one-night event. I was honored to participate in the exclusive panel discussion to be shown following the film. We must be aware of big government cheerleaders' mission to stymie U.S. development and job opportunities by using bogus weather arguments that substitute real science for political BS, all in the name of fundamentally transforming America. Please see climatehustlemovie.com. To see any of the governor's posts in their entirety, you can visit Sarah Palin's Facebook page, follow her on Twitter at Sarah Palin USA, and check out sarahpack.com. Now, the Palin Update with Kevin Shola presents Liberty and Legacy. Here's Tamara Colbert. This nation was founded by many men of many nations and backgrounds. It was founded on the principle that all men are created equal, and the rights of every man are diminished when the rights of one man are threatened, said John F. Kennedy. I'm so sick of college students believing their rights are being infringed by not having safe spaces and gender-neutral bathrooms. I'm so tired of Black Lives Matter and other anarchists who think that there is something to, quote, overcome and that this nation has somehow oppressed them. The only thing they've been oppressed is being enslaved by the socialists and the liberals in this nation who want to keep them ignorant. And the only thing that society owes them is a swift kick in the butt as a reality check. The only thing that I believe this week Obama has ever done right in his presidency is swapping a conservative Republican on the $20 bill to replace a Democrat president, Mr. Andrew Jackson. Harriet Tubman was a gun-toting, Jesus-loving spy who blazed the way for women to play a significant role in military and political affairs. It's too bad she isn't alive today to bring Another reality check to our golf playing fool of a president, Barack Obama. In the president's hubris of political correctness and his extreme ideology, he intended one thing. But when he did it, he got quite another. Out of his own sheer actual ignorance, 